my name is Matt Morton and I was in Trebuchet in the eastern part of the country. I had been to Europe several times before and when I was backpacking in 2009 with friends I visited Prague and Budapest and I really enjoyed the feel of Central Europe. So I was interested in coming back to this area which is less well known than some of the other countries in the western part of the continent um, by people in America. And I loved the fact that Slovakia had lots of mountains and forests and national parks. My town, Trebuchet, has been extremely welcoming and I've had a great relationship with my students and uh, my host teachers. And because I want to be a teacher when I get back to the United States, I think my teaching as well has become uh, a lot more flexible and that I've gained a lot of new skills as a result of the teaching experience itself. My name is Colleen. I am from Massachusetts and I spent my time in Bratislava. I think I have probably the least number of challenges, A, because I'm in Bratislava, so there are definitely the most number of English speakers who are here in general, um, and I have, like I live in the biggest city, so that just makes life easier. My name is Devin McGoy and I am an English teaching assistant in Dunajska Strada. Uh, I'm from Sterling, Virginia. English with people outside of school has been tricky uh, and so I have only been able to communicate in English with a few of my colleagues at school, mostly the English teachers and a couple of the younger uh, teachers in my school. So um, English is largely not spoken in my town. Um, we communicate uh, largely in Slovak or Hungarian and so it's a really it's been an amazing environment to, to be in, um, to hear these languages thrown out around the street, but it's been a bit challenging for me to try to navigate a, a bilingual environment. So my name is Logan Petkosik, and I spent the last year in Zlaté Moravce in the Nitra region. I'm from the United States, from Washington, D.C. Yeah, I am at a vocational school. It's a business academy. It's a bilingual business academy. So the students spend five years at this school and take a lot of English courses, and then also they take their economics accounting courses in English as well. Yeah, I guess I've been very surprised, pleasantly surprised by how welcoming everyone has been to me, especially in my smaller town. So I haven't really felt alone, I guess, because people are just so welcoming. So let's say that. Um, something else that's been interesting um, is I have found that a lot of my teachers or maybe friends in my town have a very different worldview or very different perspective on things. Um, so I've had a lot of very interesting conversations and that's something I appreciate. I feel like, um, at least in my community, um, people really just say what they're thinking. So that's led to a lot of really interesting like cultural conversations with students, with teachers. So I think that has been really rewarding and very interesting. If I reflect back on my whole experience, I would say those conversations and just seeing the world from a different perspective has been probably the most impactful for me personally.